Hey DIYers, Griff with Alarm Grid here, and today we're going to go over doing the shared power connection method with an LTMPV and the Vista residential system. So let's go ahead and let's get to it. Okay, so the tools that we're going to use today uh, for this installation um, is some pair of wire strippers for stripping the wires, and just a small flat tip screwdriver for the screws on the uh, uh, panel and on the communicator itself. And then the wire we're going to use is 18 gauge four conductor wire. Okay, we're going to assemble the communicator first before we mount it on the panel. So here, there is usually a little plastic piece that can be broken out. And what we're going to put there is we're going to put this little uh, threaded piece into this part right here. Okay. And then what this is going to be used for is whenever you mount it on top of the panel, you screw this inside of the panel onto this little bracket here to tighten it down so it don't move. So let's go ahead and start with wiring on the communicator. Uh, we're going to start with the black and red wire. Now on the communicator, on the screw terminals, you will see plus nine volts and then GND, which stands for ground. My red wire is going to go into the plus nine volts. and My black wire is going to go into the ground connection. Make sure the ground connection is loose. Okay, I'm gonna slide these in here. Okay, we're gonna tighten them down. Okay, so the next two wires we're going to concentrate on is the green and white wire. Now, sometimes you may get a four conductor. Instead of having a white, you'll have a yellow wire instead of a white wire. The most common one is yellow, but today we've got a white one. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the green wire into the TX terminal, which is labeled with a T in front of the terminal. And then the white wire is going to go into the R terminal, uh, connection. So the screws are already loose, so we're going to make those connections real quick. Okay, we're going to scoot it in here to make sure it's in there so it can be a little bit more connection and the screw will have a better hold on it. Okay, we're going to put the white in. Kind of scoot that in there. I'm going to tighten it down. Okay. Now what you want to do, once you have your wire securely in there, you want to make sure to run your wire through this bracket here. Because that's, that's going to go into the panel. And that way the wire will go into the panel as well. So that way you can close the lid and close the panel whenever it's securely done. I'll leave it like that right there. Okay, so the panel that we're using to demonstrate the connection is a Vista 21 IP. You're gonna use the exact same screw terminals on the 21 IP on the Vista 20P and 15P as well. Now the big difference between the 21 IP and the other two is we got a jumper that we need to move from the top and middle pin and bottom middle pin because the 21 IP has an internal communicator. And if we're no longer using that, the system must be powered down removing the AC connection and battery before moving this pin. And the pin is right below the IP port here. And you see it's on the top and middle. So we're just gonna simply unplug it. And you see those three pins and then we're gonna move the pin to the bottom and middle pin. This 21 IP is now ready to use external communication. Then what we're going to do next, we're going to run our wires into the panel through this hole here. We're going to put the metal ring that will help hold the communicator to the metal panel here, metal can. We're going to slide this in. Yeah. Put this 
inside here. Try not to cross thread it. I'm going to tighten that up, hand tight, as tight as it'll go. And then that will hold your communicator onto the panel. So now on the panel, the screw terminals are labeled. We're going to be looking at terminals four, five, six, and seven. But on the, the residential panels, you'll see they're labeled. Um, we're going to go to terminal four. Uh, again, GND stands for ground. That's going to be your black wire. On this one, it's labeled aux. So this is 12 volts. This is where your red wire will go. And of course you will see green for terminal six and then yellow, which we don't have a yellow wire. We're using the white wire in this case. So we're going to start with the, I like to get them organized in the way they're going to go. We'll start with the red wire and black wire first. So as I get them, straightened out here. Gonna hold those in place. Gonna tighten them down. Okay, then again the green terminal six here. And then the yellow or white, depending on what color you have on your wires. Okay. So now again, so the way we have it wired up, black goes to terminal four, red goes to terminal five, green goes to terminal six, and yellow or white goes to terminal seven. Now, the main thing is on the communicator, it says nine volts but it's able to take nine volts or 12 volts. Whenever you do it, the only time you could use the 12 volts is if you're doing the shared power method because terminals four and five is 12 volts DC. It's a little side note. And that's how you connect an LTM PV on shared powered method into a Vista residential system. If you have any questions, you can send us an email to support at alarmgrid.com or reach out to us at our website, alarmgrid.com. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like and subscribe button and don't forget to hit that bell at the bottom for future notifications for future videos. I'm Griffin with Alarm Grid and I'm happy to help.